Hi everyone, hi Facebook, hi YouTube. Um, I have so much to say today. Um, if you, hi everyone, if you were watching any of my social media, whether it be my Facebook, my um, Twitter, my, well, mostly Facebook and, uh, and Twitter, you would see that I posted like two conversations. Um, uh, because I'm a big proponent of uh, conversations. I took, uh, posted one with Stephen Burdick and John Gray, one with T.D. Jakes and Pastor Carl Lenz, um, because I think conversation is important. And I think this issue of race, this issue of equality, this issue of um, humanity and Christianity is important. So that's why I posted uh, the two of them. Um, you should know this about me. When I post something, it's not just a post. It's to inform, to encourage, to minister. It's a pastoral side of me, although I, I, yet, I yet don't have a church. So I was thinking about this whole race issue and this whole um, conversation issue. Um, and I was thinking of, okay, it's important that we have a conversation, but I'm saying um, it has to start with your kids and it has to start from really young. So I was um, ruminating on it and I was ruminating on it. I'm like, Lord, how do I explain to my nine-year-old? I don't have a nine-year-old. I don't have any children. I'm not, I'm not married. But I'm, I'm talking um, for all the parents out there. Like, how do I explain to my nine-year-old what happened? How do I explain to my eight-year-old son what happened? How do I explain to my 12-year-old white son what happened? And the Lord um, brought to my heart um, the movie Hairspray. And he said, that is how you start the conversation with a younger child, um, 12 and above, I would say. Um, yeah, Tw no, 12 and below. Because there's nothing that brings things home more the film and entertainment and music. So, so the Lord revealed, uh, the Lord showed me um, the movie Hairspray. Um, for those of you parents who don't know uh, what Hairspray is or whatever, um, Hairspray is a movie, is a movie slash Broadway play that takes place in the 60s. And it's about um, this girl called, named Tracy, Tracy Turnblad. And she loves to dance and sing and all that stuff. And then um, she watches this show, um, one of her favorite shows. Um, and... Um, on that show, there are Siri, there are black kids, and she, she, um, she fights for the black kids to dance with her as a white kid on the show, and they actually um, uh, participate in a march, and I thought. What an amazing way to start the conversation with your children, um, to, you know, to engage them in the race conversation. Instead of just uh, talking about what happened 
to George Floyd because that might scare them and you don't want to scare little children. But to ease into the conversation, uh, watch Hairspray and talk about Hairspray. Talk about why Tracy wasn't able to dance. Ask your children what they think about um, uh, why Tracy wasn't able to dance with Seaweed and Inez and get the conversation going and even talk about uh, Velma and Amber and talk about, about Link, um, how they didn't agree with it, the, the fact that they didn't say anything. When you don't say, when you have a voice and you don't say anything about an issue, and that is agreement. <laughs> um, that is saying, well, this doesn't mean all that much to me to to say something about. And sometimes people don't know how to start the conversation, especially with kids, because you don't want to scare them. You don't want to um, do that to them, but you also want to um, keep, um, you also want to keep conversation open. So I would say start with hairspray. Watch hairspray and ask them about how they feel about Tracy standing up for um, getting to dance with the black kids and um, getting the show the the corny the the corny Collins show um, integrated. Ask them about how they feel about it. Ask them about what they think about it. Ask them about you know. Ask the hard questions depending on the age of your child because there is nothing like a good movie to start a conversation. And, and that is the perfect movie to start a, uh, a conversation with young kids. And it was also a, um, a NBC, I think it was, did a um, live, um, live television event, which you can also get on DVD. I'm not sure it's if it's available on Netflix or not. But anyway, find the movie, watch it with your kids, and ask them about what they feel about what Tracy did and, and what they feel about Velma's attitude towards the black kids who wanted to dance on the show, what they felt about Tracy standing up, staging a march and saying, this is wrong, I want to dance with my friends. And uh, even what they thought about Link's attitude, like, I don't like it, but I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to get in trouble. And, you know, Velma's attitude, uh, which is overt racism too. Um... So that's what my suggestion would be, how to start a conversation with your kids. And I was also thinking of another adult movie. This is, mo this is a movie for adults um, called American History X. Wonderful movie. A lot of bad language and swearing, but it's a wonderful movie. It's about um, this, this little boy. His brother was a skinhead. His brother went to jail for murder. And then when his brother came out of jail, he was a totally different person. And it goes through how... It starts when the brother comes 
out of jail and it shows clips of what the brother was like um, before he was the leader of the skinhead uh, gang. It, that is an amazing movie. Oh my gosh. Let's talk about starting a conversation. I saw it, well, I saw, I saw part of it when I was 17 in school. And then I saw the rest of it um, when I moved out on my own. Um, I caught it and saw the rest of it. And those that movie will start a conversation if you feel uncomfortable talking about what really happened with your uh, 17 or 18 year old, that movie will start a conversation. There's nothing like movies and film and music to start a conversation, uh, to build a bridge. Uh, it's so funny, um, the title of the interview with, uh, John Gray is, I think it's something about um, building a bridge or something, um, something about a bridge. Um, and when I heard that title, I began to think of the song Love Can Build a Bridge uh, by the Judds. And like I said before on Facebook, I think it was yesterday, what we are lacking is love. And love builds bridges. Love is strong. Love is tough. Love is durable. And love can heal and restore and deliver. Lord, give us love like you haven't done before. Lord, we need an outpouring of your love. We need a love over. Strip us of everything we know and teach us how to love like you would love. Teach us how to see people like you see people. Teach us how to uh, trust like you would love trust. Teach us how to embrace like you would embrace, Father. I praise you and worship you, and I declare that it will be done. I declare that the murder of George Floyd will be the last murder of its kind because I declare that you are shaping us, that you are restoring us to who you want us to be, which is a loving uh, human race that embraces everybody that, that disagrees without being disagreeable, that, that can get along with people who don't necessarily have their opinions or their beliefs or their religious construct. And Lord God, teach us how to be more like you. Teach us how burn out everything that is not like you, Father, and teach us how to be more like you. In the name of Jesus, amen. So guys, I thank you for um, sticking with me and um, listening to this video. Although I haven't done a double live in forever because it's just a lot of work but God said I want it both on Facebook and YouTube so I'm doing it <laughs> um, so have a good day thanks bye and the song I was humming on Facebook um, before um, I started talking was I know where I've been from Hairspray if that's what you that's what you were wondering there were two versions out there the Queen Latifah movie version and the Jennifer Hudson live TV version of that song so you can also look those up it's a great song It's a very positive song. It's about, we will make it. We will come out of this one day. <laughs>